So, Katie, not the greatest start to the week and definitely, definitely not, not for the elections tomorrow? No, certainly not. So we have two separate systems coming through. Tomorrow it's a cold front. Today it's just a batch of moisture coming in. Some milder air with it, but it doesn't feel mild outside. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. it's kind of raw and chilly out there, very breezy as well. So we'll get into all of that, but we'll start it off just with another view for you here of storm scan. Show you where the heaviest pockets are currently falling, especially if you're checking in with us now because you work mid-shift, you're about ready to hit the road. So if you're out there in the Delmarva Peninsula, especially portions of Delaware, steadiest, most widespread coverage of that rain currently out there for you. But you, what you see here happening in the last couple of hour loop is how these little pockets, these little breaks keep coming into play where some of you are in fact dry right now. Doesn't necessarily stay that way though. So I would still keep your umbrella on hand. There is what looks at least like a well-defined back edge to this. But again, we're going to be stuck, I think, with rounds of rain right through the evening and even well past the time the sun goes down. Then we get a break between these two. Then this guy is the one that comes along tomorrow and that's what could produce the severe weather middle part of the day. So let's back it up. Talk about the rest of today. It's just rain and wind granted, but it's just right. No thunderstorms in the forecast the rest of today anyway. But as we put things into motion here, it does start to get a lot more sparse on the radar throughout the rest of this evening, but you're not totally out of the woods. Even though it does start to dry out, it doesn't clear out per se. We do start to see that next system already getting in here. So there's not going to be a lot of opportunity for sunshine tomorrow. 10 a.m. polls are open. You'll have a little smattering, I think, of some precip on the area radar, but the main event comes midday. And it's pretty obvious, right? You've got a very strong frontal passage that's going to take place here, and this is what could produce that severe weather. So right about this same time, in fact, tomorrow, as we're on the air, we should at least see the leading edge of this, depending on how quickly it starts to cross through. But yeah, those storms could be pretty nasty, especially true for New Jersey as it starts to make its full exit through. So that's three, four, or five o'clock starting to clear the coast as the poles are closing, the skies are starting to clear back out again, and then we're left with some cooler air in its wake. Walking you through the bullet. The heaviest or the highest risk, I should say, for the severe weather would be southern half of the region, Philly on south. And you saw that in that graphic I showed you beforehand uh, where you've got that yellow shaded area. That's the slight risk uh, for severe weather tomorrow. And then again, that timing would be late morning into the early or mid afternoon. The primary concerns look to be heavy rain, but also very strong wind. I cannot rule out an isolated tornado. This is never a guarantee. You know how this works. However, since it is a possibility that the atmosphere is ripe for that something to spin up, I want you to stick with us, check back in with us throughout the course of the morning and certainly here at noontime to see where we stand. Taking a look at election day, though, a couple of hours sort of pulled out from the day. Yeah, you know, I'd keep an umbrella with you for yet another day, but by comparison, tomorrow looks technically drier since you're not stuck with rain all day, but we do have a stronger storm. So there's your trade off if you want to call it that very dreary start to the afternoon out in Ocean City. Don't bang on any sun whatsoever here today, and clearly the rain continues to fall out this way. <laughs> it's just such an ugly shot. It's so unfortunate, but that's kind of how it looks across the board here. Later on tonight, we do at least briefly dry out as we're all in bed for the night, dropping down to 53 degrees. So it's technically kind of mild and then we do rebound very nicely. It would be so much nicer if we had sunshine to go along with this high of 68. But there you have it. That's out in advance, of course, of the frontal passage. And once that front does clear, we are back in the sunshine for two days straight. But the temperature is taking a hit. And by the time we hit Friday, there's a new system already on the move and making its arrival here as it currently stands. That's when it's going to make its arrival. So Friday, it's kind of like a bookended work week here. You start with rain today, you wrap it up with rain and both Monday and Friday are on the chilly side too. Mm, I've got my it's umbrella and my raincoat. Well, good. I'm glad. You like you my listen, raincoat. They, they, actually, I do like his raincoat. We, we had a name for it in the newsroom that I won't repeat. Oh, well, now I want to hear it in a commercial break.